Good morning, micro followers. So today is the day that the incubator flips to zero, which means today is the official birthday of the ducklings. I had some movement yesterday uh, in the early morning, and then everything just got real quiet yesterday. So I'm um, going to put the flashlight on each egg and see if we can get a little bit of wiggle jiggle. I did manage to catch a slight shadow in one of the eggs this morning, uh, and I seen a little beak popping out, so <clears throat> I know for a fact that one is active. So we're just going to check each one of these here for about 30 seconds each. No movement on that one. Let's go ahead and move down to the next one. Alright, <clears throat> I don't know how I'm going to get this other one, it's kind of, I don't know, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get it. That one's really hard to get on camera. See, yesterday when I did this, there was movement, so this makes me a little bit nervous. Share the incubator. How can I get in there? Uh, this thing is foggy. There we go. <clears throat> Yeah, so we're not having much movement this morning, so I'm not sure if ducklings are like human babies, you know, like um, right at the end of the term, literally days before uh, being born, they get into position and they're still for a minute. I remember that with all of my children, I got panicky because I had an intense amount of movement for several days before delivering and then all of a sudden there was no movement at all 
So I don't know if like it's a resting period for right before they hatch or, you know, something like that. But we had, uh, like I said, there was a little bit of movement yesterday. I mean, yesterday I would put the flashlight on the egg and um, <clears throat> it took about 15 seconds or so and uh, we'd watch the egg just wiggle and jiggle. Now nothing took off rolling or anything, but there was movement. So... I don't know. I've evaluated the eggs, and it looks like... Actually, I think it's the one that I got the thing by. If you look right underneath where the flashlight's at right now, you can see two things. You can see a little what looks like to be a chip in the egg. The other thing that you can see is you can actually see the air cell in the egg. So, um, I was watching this morning through a... Sh I call it through a shadow... <clears throat> so I had the flashlight position just like this and was watching through the air cell of the egg and I seen a little beak. I seen movement poke up there. So I know that for a fact we've got two in there that still have a live chick uh, working their way out. So, you know, yesterday was a nice day for movement. This morning I seen, you know, the, the uh, chick moving inside through the shadow. So this is the hardest part about hatching out anything whether it's ducks or chickens it doesn't matter this literally is the hardest part is the last day <clears throat> because what happens between lockdown and hatch day is absolutely vital for survival and so you can't help but kind of sit there and you're just on the edge of your seat waiting and counting down the seconds and waiting for somebody to finally poke their little beak out but um, it, it's, a, it's a horribly time-consuming and nerve-wracking experience. So I just wanted to jump on real quick and let you guys know that as of right now, we don't have any super action going on. I have seen movement, so I can confirm that there are live ducklings in there. But as of right now, we're just kind of sitting around and being as patient as we possibly could be waiting for whoever decides to go first so me personally kind of hoping that uh, this happens before tomorrow I'm going on a long road trip for the weekend so I will be gone and um, my husband has to play wife and farmer for the weekend and uh, so that's that's a little that's a, that makes me a little nervous because we're gonna have brand new ducklings you know coming along and and he's going to be playing mom so, anyhow, I'm going to get off here. I got some chores to do now that the sun's finally coming up. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you very much for following. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so down at the bottom. And have yourself an absolutely wonderful day.